Arturo Rogelio Luz. He was born in Manila on November 20, 1926. He died in May 2021 at the age of 94. He was a Filipino painter, sculptor, and designer. He did major artworks and was best known for his linear art and his painting series on street musicians, vendors, cyclists, and carnival performers. Also for his sculptures using wood, concrete, and metal. When he started, he created figurative artworks but went on to develop abstraction. He was considered as one of the new realists and the 13 moderns. In 1997, he was named one of the national artists of the Philippines. He studied painting at the School of Fine Arts at the University of Santo Tomas in Manila, the Art School of the Brooklyn Museum in New York, and the Academy Grande Chaumier in Paris, and received a diploma from the California College of Arts and Crafts in Auckland in 1994. He exhibited his drawings in Paris in 1951. Back in the Philippines, he held a solo exhibition at the Manila Hotel in the same year. He also founded the Luce Gallery, wherein many contemporary works were displayed. The artist's works are popular at auction as well. In 2013, candle vendors all in canvas in 1952 to 1954 sold at Christie's Hong Kong Asian 20th Century art sale for nearly 380,000. This early work by Luz depicts a common scene from everyday Philippine life. Three women gossiping while they sell candles in the marketplace, one of the last by Luz to include stronger figurative data. Shortly after the creation of this painting, he moved towards less distinguishable facial features, plots, and props, so much so that the individuality of his later figures is non-existent. In Arturo Du Sizable and Nito, interlocking curved blocks stuck into an impressive pattern, referencing the Filipino term for household spirits. The sculpture harks back to the artist's penchant for the reduction of form into geometric outlines and curves. A city emerges from intricate grids of white, structurally sound and powerful. Arturo Luz builds a fictitious city of old, flourishing with pagodas and domes alike. Bagong Taon is a 1952 painting made by Arturo Luz in oil on Lawanet. It depicts three cyclists on one bicycle who are celebrating the New Year. It is exhibited at the Ateneo Art Gallery. One of the Arturo Luz's beloved works is Night Blows, made in 1960. They added that the painter, sculptor, and designer produced works that elevated Filipino aesthetic vision to new heights of sophisticated simplicity. Filipino-made fonts have been surfacing the internet lately, adding to the rich and diverse art of the Philippines. This artwork named Magbabanig in 1952. Awit in 1953. Man with Guitar in 1997. Painted Steel in 1979. And these are the partial list of his achievements. In 1950s to 1960s, three first prize awards at the Art Association of the Philippines Annual Competition in California Art Association Award. In 1955, Outstanding Young Man in Art in Manila Times. In 1956, a book of his drawings was published, Introduction by Emmanuel Torres. In 1960, established the renowned Luz Gallery in Makati, Philippines. And in 1997, he was one of the Philippine national artists. A partial list of his exhibitions is as follows. In 2013, the Silver Lens Photography in Manila, Philippines. 
and Gallery Joaquin works from 1997 to 2004 in San Juan, Philippines. The contribution of Arturo Luz in Philippine art is aside from introducing new realist the Nets to post-war Philippines in 1960, he established Luz Gallery, one of the first commercial art spaces in the country and was the founding director of Metropolitan Museum of Manila. The design of the center of the Philippines as well as the now defunct Museum of Philippine Art. And that's all about I can share for Arturo Luz. Thank you.